China's economic scars are deepening day by day. In fact, the ripple effect of the economic wreck caused by COVID has left aftershocks in its wake. With Foxconn Group and Apple, which accounted for 3.9% exports and more than a million jobs fleeing China, the country finds itself yet again in a pool of economic troubles. Will Beijing find a way to dig themselves out of this sinkhole? Stay tuned to find out. A new world. In the heart of Zhengzhou, China, lies a sprawling city within a city that used to house a factory operated by Foxconn. This massive facility responsible for producing iPhones and a myriad of other Apple products employed a staggering workforce of approximately 300,000 individuals. To put it into perspective, at one point this factory alone accounted for a staggering 85% of the esteemed pro lineup of iPhones as reported by the renowned market research firm CounterPoint Research. However, this bustling hub of technological innovation was rocked by a series of gripping events in late November 2022 that sent shockwaves through the industry. Disturbing videos surfaced online, capturing the eruption of violent protests within the factory's walls. These incidents emerging amidst a year that had already chipped away at China's reputation as a stable manufacturing center, left Apple feeling increasingly uneasy about the concentration of its operations in a single location. Analysts and insiders from the Apple supply chain expressed concerns about the potential risks associated with such a reliance on one place. Alan Young, a former US executive for Foxconn, observed, In the past, people didn't pay attention to concentration risks. Free trade was the norm, and things were very predictable. Now we've entered a new world. The sentiment echoed by those involved in Apple's supply chain prompted the technology giant to explore alternative strategies and broaden its network of assemblers. Even if these new collaborators were based in China, Apple sought to tap into a larger pool of talent and expertise. Luxshare Precision Industry Co. and Wingtech Technology Co., two Chinese companies on the horizon, were poised to receive more Apple business, according to insiders. During investor calls earlier in 2022, Luxshare executives vaguely alluded to concerns expressed by certain consumer electronics clients regarding potential supply chain hiccups in China. These issues were attributed to COVID-19 prevention measures, power shortages, and other challenges. Consequently, these clients, unnamed by Luxshare, expressed a desire for the company's assistance in expanding operations beyond the confines of China. The executive specifically mentioned the concept of new product introduction, a critical phase where Apple collaborates with contractors to transform its product blueprints and prototypes into a comprehensive manufacturing plan. To mitigate concentration risks, Apple communicated its intention to manufacturing partners, encouraging them to explore opportunities for conducting more NPI work outside of China. For decades, Apple and China have woven a complex relationship that has generally yielded mutual benefits. Nevertheless, change cannot be achieved overnight. Apple diligently releases new iPhone models annually, alongside consistent updates to its iPads, laptops, and various other products. The company must continue navigating the dynamic industry landscape while simultaneously replacing its engine. The magnitude of the challenge was encapsulated by Kate Whitehead, a former Apple operations manager who now operates her own supply chain consulting firm, stating, Finding all the pieces to build at the scale Apple needs is not easy. However, this transition has already begun, fueled by two interconnected factors that collectively pose a threat to China's long-standing economic dominance. Firstly, some young Chinese individuals are no longer enticed by the prospect of modest wages associated with assembling electronics for wealthier consumers. Secondly, resentment has been brewing due to Beijing's heavy-handed approach to handling the COVID-19 pandemic, a concern shared by Apple and numerous other Western companies. While many countries have returned to pre-pandemic norms, China continues to grapple with outbreaks, resorting to measures such as quarantines. Throw back to December 2022, Chinese cities witnessed protests that saw some demonstrators calling for President Xi Jinping's removal. These gatherings, initially fueled by discontent over the COVID-19 restrictions, have the potential to evolve into a more significant movement against the government. The backdrop against which all these events unfold encompass over five years of heightened military and economic tensions between the US and China. 
Looking ahead as suggested by Ming-Chi Kuo, an analyst at TF International Securities, who specializes in monitoring the supply chain, Apple envisions shipping 40 to 45 percent of its iPhones from India in the long run, a significant increase compared to the current single-digit percentage. Additionally, suppliers anticipate Vietnam shouldering a greater manufacturing burden for other Apple products, including AirPods, smartwatches, and laptops. The quest to reshape Apple's global manufacturing landscape is a complex endeavor, as the company seeks to balance its ambitious goals with the puzzle of finding suitable partners and locations to meet its demands. Reviewing New Locations in a quest to diversify their manufacturing operations beyond China, Foxconn and other technology suppliers have set their sights on new contenders in the manufacturing and supply space, India and Vietnam. India, with its growing prowess in manufacturing and Vietnam with its emerging potential, have emerged as prime candidates to challenge China's long-standing dominance in this arena. CNBC had previously reported on Indian government officials' claims that Apple aimed to boost production in India to account for a quarter of its total output. Already having a presence in India through a factory near Chennai, Foxconn has now set its sight on investing approximately $700 million to construct a new plant in Karnataka state, according to a report by Bloomberg. The proposed iPhone parts plan signifies Foxconn's commitment to expanding its operations in India. It is to be situated on a sprawling 300-acre site near Bengaluru's Kempegoda International Airport. Bengaluru, also known as Bangalore, serves as the capital of Karnataka state and boasts one of the highest per capita GDP levels among Indian states. Government officials confirming Bloomberg's report announced that this new venture would generate an impressive 100,000 job opportunities. For Foxconn, this investment represents one of its most significant commitments to the Indian market. Bengaluru is renowned for its thriving engineering and technology ecosystem, and it stands at the forefront of India's innovative landscape. As tensions between the United States and China continue to mount, American companies are re-evaluating their dependence on China and seeking alternative manufacturing destinations. The shifting dynamics in the global manufacturing and supply chain landscape make India and Vietnam all the more appealing. They present exciting possibilities to shake up the traditional order of things. Will these new contenders successfully challenge China's manufacturing supremacy? Skyrocketing unemployment Amidst discussions surrounding Apple's production site in China, the People's Daily, the official mouthpiece of the Chinese Communist Party, proudly declared that the facility was responsible, directly or indirectly, for employing over a million locals. With Foxconn and Apple gone, the picture of unemployment in China gets more grim. The urban youth unemployment rate, which was already at record levels, reached a new high in May 2023 hitting a staggering 20.8%. This figure saw a slight increase from the previous month's data, which had already shown a jobless rate of 20.4% for individuals between the ages of 16 and 24. Unfortunately, official data does not include rural unemployment, leaving an important piece of the puzzle unaccounted for. During a recent visit to China, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan, expressed alarm at the youth unemployment figures, describing them as a scary number in an interview with Bloomberg TV. Dimon emphasized the need for economic growth to address this pressing issue. The situation is expected to worsen as a record-breaking 11.6 million college students are set to enter the job market this summer, as estimated by the Education Ministry. This influx of graduates adds to the mounting challenges faced by Chinese youths and policymakers. Underemployment poses an additional problem, with a significant portion of college graduates in China working in positions that do not align with their training and qualifications. Liu, a co-author of a research paper on the topic, estimates that at least a quarter of college graduates in China are underemployed, exacerbating the already rising youth unemployment rate. Underemployment occurs when individuals settle for low-skilled, low-paying or part-time jobs due to the lack of full-time opportunities that match their skills. This trend is concerning as these positions were traditionally filled by non-college educated workers. The consequences of graduating during an economically challenging period have been well documented in other societies. Research from the Stanford University reveals that college graduates who begin their careers during a recession or economic downturn experience lower earnings for at least a decade 
or more compared to those who graduate during prosperous times. Considering China's aging and declining population, which will reduce the economically active workforce, the repercussions of youth unemployment and underemployment will have severe negative ramifications for the economy. What do you think about China's predicament? Is there a way out? Don't forget to comment below, like and subscribe for more.